Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 83. That is, what is DOD in Agile Scrum? Let me answer. DOD stands for definition of done. To understand what exactly is this DOD, you have to first understand what is Agile and under Agile, what is Scrum, under Scrum, what is Sprint. All these terms you have to understand. So let me explain that basic things that you need to learn before understanding what is DOD. Okay, so first one is Agile SDLC. So what is Agile SDLC? There are several SDLC models that are followed by the projects for producing the software, right? Like waterfall model, V model, RAD model, and so on. Agile SDLC model is one of them. So under Agile, we have different methodologies or frameworks. Okay, you can either call them as methodologies or framework. One of the methodology we have is, one of the popular methodology we have is Scrum, okay? Which is followed by most of the projects. Scrum methodology. Under Agile SDLC model, Scrum methodology is there. So what is the Scrum methodology? As per Scrum methodology, the work, the project work will happen something like this, okay? So it will happen in iterations, first iteration, then next piece of work will be done in the second iteration, then third iteration, fourth iteration, and so on, guys. Each and every iteration is known as sprint. Sprint one, let's say the first one is sprint one, the second one is uh, sprint two, and sprint three, sprint four. Each and every sprint is nothing but an iteration. It generally has a duration of one week to four weeks. So in that, this is starting of the sprint, starting of the iteration, this is ending of the iteration. That is, it can be one week to four weeks. For example, if you take uh, the sprint duration as two weeks, it's nothing but 10 working days, okay? Though it is uh, 14 days, but uh, it is 10 working days only, okay? In the 10 working days, the work assigned to this particular sprint need to be completed by the Agile team. We need to complete the work. Here, Agile team has to complete the work. Who are the Agile team? Who are part of the Agile team? Developers and testers, right? De developers and testers are generally known as Agile team. In Scrum, you call call these developers and testers as Agile team. These Agile team, that is developers and testers, are going to start the work here and finish the work by the end of the sprint, okay? So if it is two weeks duration, ten or in 10 working days, this Agile team has to complete the work. So far, so good. You see what happens here is there will be some role known as product owner. The product owner is the one who will create this user stories. Okay, in Agile Scrum, uh, user stories will be created by the product owner. These user stories are nothing but nothing but work guys. Okay, these are the requirements. These are the user stories are nothing but the small pieces of requirements which need to be developed and tested by the testing team and to be completed their work by the end of the sprint. So here user stories will be assigned in the beginning of the sprint. The user stories will be assigned. These user stories will be picked by the developers and testers and they, the developers will develop these user stories according to the requirements and uh, test, uh, testing team will test this as per as mentioned in the user stories and all and uh, they have to complete by the end of the sprint. Okay, these work the testers and developers have to complete by the end of the sprint. When can we say that the user stories are really completed? When can we say that the user uh, this particular user story is completed or when can we say that the sprint is completed? When can we say that after a few sprints, right, the software will be released into the market? The software will be released into the market. When can we say that the software is ready to be released into the market? When can we say that the sprint is ready? Uh, sprint is uh, completed. When can we say that software can be released? When can we say that the, the particular each and individual user story is completed, is working, is developed and tested properly? When can we say that? So all these things are related to definition of done, guys. You see, the user story completion is also related to definition of done. Sprint completion is also related to definition of done. The, these are all works case, okay? Individual works. User story is a requirement. When can we say that the requirement is properly developed and tested completely? That is also related to definition of done. When can we say that the entire iteration, that is two weeks or whatever it is, the work assigned to that particular sprint is completed. When can we say that is assigned to? That is nothing but related to definition of done. When can we say that the software can be released into the market? Software is now ready for releasing into the market. Again, that is also related to definition of done, guys. So let's understand what is definition of done now. Okay, definition of done in simple terms is nothing but a checklist, guys. Okay, it is a checklist of items which decide the work that is assigned to the team has been completed or not. Okay, with the help of this uh, DOD checklist, we can check whether the user story is completed or not. Okay, with the help of this checklist of uh, things. Okay, if if the development team and testing team, okay, uh, are uh, 
according to the okay their work is according to the work completion is according to the checklist as mentioned in the checklist if the work is done in that case we can say the work is completed right the user story can be completed if the checklist of items are satisfied okay the word is means what definition of done which is nothing but a checklist of the things which decide whether the work assigned to the team has been completed or not with the help of this checklist we can find it out whether the work has been really completed or not this checklist is nothing but the word definition of done okay so how this checklist will decide whether the work that is user story is completed or sprint is complete sprint work is completed or software release work is completed how this checklist will decide based on this criteria okay coming to the user story guys okay specifically this criteria is uh, mainly about the user story so when can we say that the user story is completed okay the work that is the requirement uh, that is uh, mentioned in the user story when can we say that developers and testers have developed and tested this particular user story completely and uh, when can we say that this particular user story work is completed is this is the criteria we have to follow user story built without any errors okay user story built without any errors that means developers have developed this particular software uh, uh, developers have developed the functionality of the application according to the requirements mentioned in the user story okay without any errors the software is working okay the functionality related to this particular user story requirement is working in the software without any errors then we can say that and also user story is tested against okay to confirm that there are no errors testing need to be performed right developer have to develop it developer has to build it and testers have to test it then only we can say the user story user story built without any errors means that's what we can say development and testing should happen properly then user story is tested against acceptance criteria so who will provide the acceptance criteria product owner will provide the acceptance criteria according to the mentioned acceptance criteria and business needs the user story is properly developed and tested okay if uh, the story uh, the functional uh, functionality of the application is working as men- as per the acceptance criteria mentioned in the user story which is properly tested then we can say this is one of the check, uh, criteria guys to decide uh, definition of done for a user story okay so user story is demoed to stakeholders so to to mention that the user story is done another item we have to consider here is a demo will happen guys okay the demo will happen at the end of the sprint uh, once the work is done the work will be demonstrated to the stakeholders and the product owner okay stakeholders and product owner the work will be demoed and they have to a- accept that the product owner has to accept the work done by the developers and testers then only we can say the story is completed so what is dvd again to conclude guys dvd is nothing but the checklist of things which will decide whether the work assigned to the agile team has been really completed or not okay a checklist which decides whether the work assigned to the development and testing team that is agile team is really completed or not dvd applies for user story to see whether user story is really completed dvd checklist can be used with the sprint to decide whether the sprint uh, has been real the work assigned to that particular sprint is really completed or not dvd can also be related to the release to see whether the work that is assigned to the team as part of uh, building the software so that it can be released into the market is really done or not work is done or not for releasing the software into the market to decide that we can use dvd for all these needs so hope guys you got an idea uh, what exactly is dvd in agile scrum now so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye